Okay, while I was uh, I was looking around at uh, the comments and um, I, I, I was actually looking for this particular uh, comment from Bob Browning because I remembered Bob had sent me something where uh, uh, apparently he'd gone along to the British Interplanetary Society and um, he'd actually said that he didn't doubt the historical record, he just doubted the photographic record. And I was looking for this particular comment. I was very surprised to find it on here. Allis.com. Now this is the same site that the fake... Uh, <laughs> you find all the fake moon landing uh, rubbish from Scott Henderson. And Scott Henderson and um, Marcus Allen were on Ben M. Lynn Jones's channel the other night. They were they were all they were all part of a panel, and I'm surprised that uh, Scott Henderson didn't actually pull Marcus up because Marcus when, when Marcus is talking about the transmission, you know how to get the transmission from the moon. You wouldn't be able to transmit a signal from the moon directly to the Earth. The moon's spinning and the Earth is spinning. That that comment obviously has nothing whatsoever to do with photographs, does it? <laughs> so, <clears throat> why didn't uh, why didn't um, Scott Henderson just say to uh, Marcus Allen, "Hey, uh, Marcus, wait a minute. I thought, uh, wait a minute. You're you're giving the impression that you believe that they never went to the moon." When you told me, and I've actually got on my site that um, you you do actually believe they went, but you just don't believe the photographic record. Oh, well, I'll leave a link to this below. And, uh, okay, so this is the Apollo investigation, the Orlis site. Investigation is probably <laughs> probably being a bit over complimentary to himself there, but uh, Into the Lion's Den, part one. Now, I'm reading this with the camera viewfinder, so yeah, excuse me if I sound a bit strange. And it says here, I can't hold the camera looking at it and read past the camera, if you see what I mean. Uh, so, a presentation by Marcus Allen to the British Interplanetary Society, London, on 4th of April 2012. Part 2, Into the Lion's Den, is available here. OK, a little arrowhead there, maybe I'll have a look at that. And it says, Marcus Allen is intimately acquainted with the Hasselblad camera. As used on the lunar surface and a veteran of talks on the thorny subject of Apollo, duly arrived at the headquarters of the British Interplanetary Society, the BIS, to talk about the anomalies in the Apollo record. Oh, really? OK. So far, so good. This is, uh, his normal stance, isn't it? Although his normal stance uh, wouldn't normally have uh, an eye in the middle. <laughs> wouldn't have an eye in the middle. <laughs> now, um, uh, prior to the presentation, Marcus was given a tour of their elegant building by Alistair Scott, president-elect of the British Interplanetary Society, and was generally made to feel welcome. One member observed that he had some courage to enter the lion's den, this description being entirely accurate. As the British Interplanetary Society has a natural affini affinity with NASA, and some of its members had reservations about any critics of Apollo in general, and Marcus Allen in particular. They had understood that Marcus Allen subscribed to the view that no humans had ever been to the moon. Well, that's funny considering the Floyd, Freudian slips he he, he made uh, during the, uh, the the Dreaming Sources presentation that I've featured in a couple of my videos. You know where he says, "Word of von Braun and Co. were the Germans that got America to the moon." That's a picture of Buzz and uh, Neil Armstrong in the lunar module, and he says, "Oh, this was taken before they even got to the moon." You know, comments like that. Um, they had understood that Marcus had, Allen had subscribed to the view that no humans had been to the moon. In fact, in fact, Marcus Allen's personal view is that we did send men to the moon, but that the photographic record of Apollo is full of unexplained problems, a different matter entirely. Oh, well, that would explain the Freudian slips, wouldn't it? So he's, he's, his personal view is that they went to the moon, 
But he, he doesn't like the photo... He, he thinks there are problems with the photographic record. Well, perhaps you could just... Uh, you could clarify this position for us, uh, Mr Allen, because the impression I get, certainly from what you were saying on Ben's panel the other night, the, the, the Apollo detectives, uh, was that uh, you were firmly convinced that uh, they had never gone to the moon. The comments you were making were not... A lot of the comments that you were making were not about the photographic record. Anything to do with the transmission, anything to do with how to get television pictures from them and the power consumption of the lunar module. <laughs> um, nothing whatsoever to do with the photographic record. So perhaps, uh, Mr Marcus Allen, uh, you could uh, just clarify the situation for us. And maybe Mr Henderson, this is Mr Henderson's site, maybe you could clarify the situation for us. You know, go on to uh, Ben's channel. I don't know whether these guys actually have YouTube channels, come to think of it. But if, if you do, if you have YouTube channels yourselves, perhaps you could put some sort of response on there and just clear this up once and for all. Does Marcus Allen, is his stance we know he believes it because of his Freudian slips, is his stance that the, the Apollo moon landings were all faked and that uh, Neil Armstrong, Buzz Aldrin, Alan Bean and all the other astronauts have never been to the moon, that Apollo never went to the moon, that it was all faked? Yes or no? <laughs> perhaps, uh, perhaps you could just clarify that... Uh, you could clarify that for us. I really wish I'd... I, I'm sorry, Bob. I, I, I wish I'd seen this previously, actually, because um, although it wasn't open to... Um, it wasn't actually open for discussion, was it, at the time when they were, when they were doing their, uh, uh, their um, BS Fest uh, the other day, no one could actually say, uh, hang on a minute, uh, Mr Henderson, on your site... It says that uh, Marcus Allen doesn't uh, only disputes the photographic record. He doesn't dispute the fact that they actually went to the moon. Yet here he here he is um, on this panel, telling uh, telling everybody that he thinks uh, it's all fake. They never went. Hmm. Perhaps Mr. Allen has more than one personality. Perhaps he's got one of these. One, he may be one of these split personality types. He may. He may. He may even have a third personality. You know, one that um, believes stuff, or finds credible stuff that he sees in uh, Nexus magazine. <laughs> All right. Well, uh, I think that will do. That's just a very. That's just a very quick thing. I'll leave a link to this below. So Ben, if you uh, if you watch this video, perhaps you can talk to uh, Mr Henderson and Mr uh, Allen and get us a definitive answer. So all three of you were together on your panel the other day. All three of you seem to have a uh, uh, exactly the same opinion. Yet Mr Allen apparently has a different opinion. He thinks there's nothing wrong with the historical record. They went. Apollo was all real. He's unhappy about some of the photographs. That's not what he said on your panel, is it? So I wonder if we can get a response uh, to that, Ben. That would be uh, that would be very interesting indeed. Uh, get Marcus, get Marcus and uh, Scott Henderson back on. Just have a little chat about this point, and uh, I uh, I'll get some popcorn in. All right. Well, uh, as always, thanks. Uh, uh, thanks for thanks for watching. Thanks to Bob Branning for um, sending me this link. Okay, well, uh, I've decided to uh, just tack on to the end of this the uh, three Freudian slips that uh, Marcus Allen made during the Dreaming Sources presentation put on by uh, Ben Emblin Jones, just to refresh your memory. Um, but the Freudian slips uh, would certainly uh, certainly support. Uh, Marcus Allen believing that uh, they actually went to the moon. Don't know why he's why he's in, he persists with all this uh, fake moon landing nonsense is uh, something we'll have to ask him, I think, because he's uh, he's told Mr. Henderson apparently, and he's told the British Interplanetary Society that uh, he believes the historical record. He believes they went. He believes Apollo is real. He just has uh, a problem with some of the photographs. <laughs>
<laughs> yeah, okay, so uh, here's Mr. Allen's uh, Freudian slips. Okay, Marcus Allen's Freudian slips. Now this is from uh, Ben's Dreaming Sources presentation. This is actually from a video I did debunking it, but... Uh, <coughs> Uh, this is a trailer for the debunking video, but you see there's a Buzz Aldrin and there's Neil Armstrong, they're in the lunar module. And Marcus Allen is going to tell us uh, that uh, he's unhappy with that picture. And the, <laughs> the reasons that he's unhappy with the picture are irrelevant, but uh, the comment he makes, I think, says it all, really. And the comment he makes is, this picture was taken before they even got to the moon. So let's hear Mr. Allen saying those words before they even got to the moon. Well, if they never went to the moon, Mr. Allen, how could this picture have been taken before they even got to the moon? OK, let's see Mr. Allen telling us uh, that he thinks this picture was taken before they even got to the moon. So let's hear what Mr. Allen has to say about that picture. <coughs> Like that, it's the same thing. So this was taken under control conditions in the simulation rig before they <laughs> That picture was taken under control con conditions in the simulation rig before they even went to the moon. So if they never went to the moon, how could that picture have been taken before they even went to the moon, Mr. Allen? Perhaps you could... Uh, you could tell us all the uh, the answer to that one. OK, and the next Freudian slip. And again, here's Marcus Allen from Dreaming Sources. This time he's telling us all about uh, Werner von Braun and the German rocket scientist that went to America after the war. to the moon, eh, Mr. Allen? Your subconscious is telling us all that you know that America went to the moon. You know Buzz Aldrin and Neil Armstrong stepped on the moon on July the 20th, 1969, just like the rest of us do. <sighs> it keeps you on the talk circuit, though, all this rubbish, doesn't it? So he's talking about Werner von Braun and the rocket scientist that went to America after the end of the Second World War. Opera, part of Operation Paperclip, and they just uh, changed their CVs to say they were good guys, they weren't really Nazis, and this enabled them to work on the American space program. Not the American movie industry, notice, the American space program. And in the words of Mr. Allen, they were the Germans that got America to the moon. Perhaps you could explain to us, Mr. Allen, if uh, it was all faked and uh, the Americans never went to the moon, why exactly you think that Von Braun and co are the Germans that got America to the moon? Okay, I think there's another one, but if there's not, uh, I'll, I'll, I'll catch you next time. Okay, yes, I thought there was another one, and here it is. Well, it'll be worth a look. <laughs> there's nothing weird about any of this. The weirdness is in his head. This is another picture. This is not the picture I showed you uh, earlier with the two guys in the lens. This is a different picture. was taken before they even reached the moon. Hmm. There's Mr. Marcus Allen 
saying that picture was taken before they even reached the moon. Well, perhaps, Mr. Allen, you could explain to us all, if it's all faked, they never went to the moon, why you would make a comment like that? Why would you say that photo was taken before they even reached the moon? OK, well, that's uh, just to end the video there uh, with the three... <clears throat> three f very obvious Freudian slips made by Marcus Allen. I think it shows us quite clearly, shows us all quite clearly. He knows very well that the moon landing happened, exactly as the history books tell us, why he persists in spruiking all this fake moon landing nonsense. Um, my guess is that it uh, gives him something to do, keeps him on the talk circuit, might make him a few quid. What is extremely difficult to miss, what is painfully obvious is that he doesn't believe his own presentation. He knows he's talking rubbish. OK, well, I think that will do. That's as much as I can stomach of the fake moon landing uh, mob <laughs> for today. Perhaps I'll catch you again, depending on how bored I get over Christmas. And uh, if not, uh, I'll, uh, I'll, I'll catch you uh, when I catch you. As always, if you struggle through the video all, all the way through to this point, jolly well done. Many thanks for watching. And uh, I might uh, catch you again. <laughs>